to the lamb and the boss rush for a streak of Nintendo 64. I have one heart. Guppy's head, poison bombs, abysmal damage, fairly average tier rate. Man, today's runs have just been something else. Entering a new floor grants plus one bone heart. Well, that is help. Oh god. That is helpful if I get to enter a new floor. Okay, I want to kill the fatty first, and then I want to kill the the champion. Man, what is today? Metronome. I'm desperate enough to just try and go for the secret room blindly. Thank you. Okay, hermiting, looking for a soul heart. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. Maybe karate seminar tomorrow. Also, if anyone uses the social engineer me, I'll take it. Okay, already feeling a lot better without soul heart. Already feeling a lot better. Got the champion. Probably not gonna go to the sack room. Don't really see what I could possibly get out of that. Man, I'm glad we have Guppy's head, but the problem is the fly is scaling with your tear damage means the flies aren't really dealing a whole lot of damage when you don't have any tear damage. I wanna get this guy first. I don't want him to limit my movement. Ooh! I almost got outplayed, holy. I did get outplayed, honestly. It just didn't backfire on me. Okay, this is a boss rush run. Which makes me not want to look for the super secret room. Yeah, I mean, we have five bombs. Whatever boss that is shouldn't be having a good time against us. Not the kind of damage up I'm hoping for, but it is damage. Curse of the Maze. We have that Bone Heart now too, and Bone Hearts are insane. So that's neat. The problem with Blood Clot especially is that... Haha, <laughs> we meet again. The problem with Blood Clot especially is that it doesn't increase your damage stat. It just makes every tier coming from your left eye do more damage. But since it doesn't increase your damage stat, it means my flies don't do more damage either. Although this goes to the lamb, so Nightlight is actually a lot better now. I might be back for that if we end up finding 13 cents somehow. Ooh. Almost walked into that. I would love, love, love to keep that bone heart and find a red heart container. Okay. Uh, first round. Hey everyone, this is your secret call out of the day. If you made it this part of the video, let me know you're part of the Moncast gang for all these runs we've been recently getting with the game trying to kill off our streak. As always, I'm trying to reach 2,000 subs before the end of the month. So if you want to help me reach that, I would really appreciate if you could leave a like and a sub on the video. Tragic. Dude, we've got blood clot so far, and that's it. This room is actually uh, terrifying. Do do do.
Man, this is gonna be an adventure. This run is gonna need some form of help if it wants to make it. Dang it. This run is definitely gonna need some form of help if it wants to make it to the boss rush. Okay. Could have tried to arrange something where they move all together, but... Not sure how efficient that is, especially since every time these guys charge, they spawn a bunch of little dudes. Which is actually a problem with this tier rate and no piercing. Do I go to the devil deal? <sighs> Probably not. Angel rooms it is. The tier rate is nice. Big fan of that. This run is on a timer. Sure is. This run is on a timer, started really bad, and hasn't really found much so far. Is that worth it? Probably not. Alright. It's... it's... It's a day full of interesting runs, what can I say? I feel like I have to. We're gonna be battle bombing a lot in this run, I feel. Really hope we can find some more bombs. Okay. Oh, and the worst part is we started with Bob's curse, so he can't even give us that. Actually, this guy drops Bob's rod and hit. Can't give us Bob's curse anyway. Triggers a random dice room effect. I don't think I'm quite that desperate yet. But I'm also not far from it. The problem is if that gives me a five room, it actually just wastes me a bunch of time right now, too. This is it. Oh, no magic mush. And just like that, I wish I had that bomb back. store? BFF. BFF doesn't do anything yet, but it's an item I just can never say no to. I, I gotta look for the item room. I can't skip that. Kane's eye is probably worse than Hollow Heart. Actually, is it? I don't think it is. Not at this point. Our health situation is looking good enough. I know it doesn't seem like it, but... Okay, well, that works with the BFF at least. Okay, Grandpa Fly dealing solid damage. Things I never thought I'd hear myself say.
Oi. That's okay. Sorry for the interruption. I already saw growth hormones, which is insane. Breath of life. <laughs> oh god. I'm not sure that made the build better. I'm also not sure what that was. I I felt the risk was worth it there. But I feel like I'm regretting my choices. I'm very much regretting my choices. I can already see this run going to delirium. <laughs> Dead Sea Scrolls, yeah. Well, uh, I lost my BFF too. I got School Bag. I did get Charm of the Vampire, which is nice. It's some damage. My T rate got lowered again from losing the soap. It's just. I can't see this run beating Delirium. Well, it's the only alternative since I can't see this run making Boss Rush. <laughs> Arky, Arky would allow us to do it. That's better than Dead Sea Scrolls, I guess. that blanky that's a step in the right direction for our boss fights at least dude there's no way this run makes the boss rush delirium is our only outlet here Tears down fell. I'm just so messed up, dude. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> Okay, that's not the bad more fight. And Robo Baby actually does make this a bit more bearable. Oh, 
I'm still living in a magical wonderland where I potentially make the boss rush. It's actually so fascinating that that Wheel of Fortune, Reverse Wheel of Fortune ended up making the run worse, not better. I'm just gonna take both, even though they're kind of redundant together, but it gets me closer to having the empty vessel online. balls. Look at how long it takes to clear that. Okay. Oh, I've been to the item room. Might as well go in there, but it's likely not gonna lead to anything. Those chests could have easily saved me, instead they chose to do that. I need more rooms that have just one enemy in them. Oops. Oh, I can't believe that exploded in one shot. There's no way I'm making the boss rush at this point, right? Like, we, we gotta hope we can make delirium happen somehow. But the run needs a lot of help before that happens. Oh lord. Keep hitting the devil deals at least. Hit cut. I I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to hit the boss rush here, so I'm just gonna clear this floor and hope to find something like I legitimately do not see how I'm making boss rush here, unless there's like Guppy in here, but even then I have one minute. Not even a minute, because it takes me a while to get in here. The vengeful spirit is something. Emperor, but even then I'm not killing mom in 35 seconds. <laughs> like, it's just not happening. This is this is delirium or bust. Well, to be fair, this is exactly the kind of run I had in mind when I invented that cop out rule. So, I guess here we are. Mama Mega, that's actually a good point. Mama Mega would get us into the boss rush. <laughs> so that would work. Blank Rune, Hagalas. First row, great. That would have been fantastic to have. Somewhere else. the map. Uh, 
I would love to come back for that map, but I feel like the soul heart was more important there. Joker. Struggle boss episode three. Magic eight ball. <laughs> There's an emperor card. Somebody said that earlier to get to the boss rush in time, but. I would love to get that map. I think it's worth it to look for where the secret room is here. Okay, come on, don't let me down. Nice. Okay, map is gonna make it a lot more realistic to reach Hush. I, I can I can slowly see this run come together. I do like the map better than the gift. Like, yes, it's potentially an additional devil deal item, but the problem is we still have to worry about making it to Hush. Because I don't want to rely on the, the like, 25% portal or something. To get to Delirium. Plus, the hush floor actually usually are some pretty good loot that we might need for this run. So the plan is to use the map to hopefully make it to the hush floor and then they get carried over there. Especially with that joker card, we actually have a decent... We're two pieces guppy. Which is not to be underestimated. I know Guppy never really happens, but if it does... It's gonna be nutty. Blanky for. Uh, well, since we're going to hush, I can actually pick whatever I want. And since we have, yeah, I'm gonna take the Polaroid. Joker. No guppy. I think I want that. I think I want both of these. I want both of these just to put the empty vessel online, basically. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I don't have time for you, dude. Oh, nice. This is a horrendous floor. had to be something insane in there for me to take it like thri three golden chests but I think it was worth peeking dang it should have probably saved the nail for the boss fight
I mean, it's the easiest womb boss, but it's also potentially the biggest time sink. If he doesn't pop out his butt. Like, this boss is just a disaster on low damage. In terms of speed. Oh my god. Skull likes. This run is really trying everything to stop me. I should have tried to bomb it much sooner, but... Okay. Our Devil Deal luck isn't terrible, for sure. Oh! Okay. Wait, what? It doesn't count the head anymore? Ugh. My tracker even said two out of three. I... <clears throat> I've been scammed. I got scammed, chat. <laughs> oh my god, it didn't count. It's a disaster. That doesn't really help me. I mean, if that's one that rerolls my entire build, I'm jumping on that. That just D20 is the room. I'd be a big fan of that syringe, not gonna lie. Oh, I missed it. And I didn't get soul hearts, of course. Nice. Come on. Okay, we need help, chat. We need a lot of help. A key on the next floor, a golden key, would be so huge. Three luck with tough love is actually pretty solid. I definitely want to keep Kane's eye. That's actually pretty good, too. No! Go away. That's pretty massive. Hmm. I want the hive mind because of the potential guppy down the road, but it looks like we're not going to be able to buy it. Empress. What does that do again? Plus two health, plus 1.35 tears, minus one speed effect lasts for 60 seconds. Okay. 
I mean, the build got better. We have the map, so I think I want the other one. Replaces all coin and key spawns with a bomb heart pill card. Well, we want keys because of Guppy's tail, so I don't think I actually want that. All right, well, let's hope for the best. I'm not sure I can beat Hush like that. I'm probably gonna have to shut up and full focus, but we'll see how it goes. All right, good fight. We gained HP <laughs> in that Hush fight. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come on. We're two out of three guppy. If I get a guppy piece from the bosses or anything. Oh my god, and we got the Kane's eye proc, so I actually see where the bosses are. Delirium has to be here. Yo, that's nice. We're getting a bunch of free items here. And then you use that red key at home. To find your character on the mark. There's probably someone that can explain that better than me, and I apologize, but I really need to focus on this run. I do not want to die here. <laughs> With Hive Mind, I really am one guppy piece. Ah, oh, don't do that. One guppy drop away from being on a winning run. empty vessel oh i have the virus i need to keep that in mind i totally forgot about that okay not terrible i have the virus i absolutely keep that in mind that i do contact damage every time this empty vessel goes off i should be hugging whatever is left in the room okay 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 satan Alright, Blinky. The Blinky save. Alright, thanks, Empty Vessel. Empty Vessel is such an insane item. Aw, oh, dang it! Okay, that's insane. That's that's massive. That is massive. That means my nail is going to give me a full heart now instead of a half heart and it's going to give me double the damage as well. That that is uh, that is an insane find. Okay. Goal likes. We meet again. Although this time should honestly be a lot less painful for me. Still painful, mind you, but definitely not as bad. Pills good and it gives me it has a chance to give me a shield. Now the Virgo shield is 10 seconds long, but the Polaroid shield is quote unquote only um five seconds long, so Virgo basically has a chance to give me double the shield that I normally would get. Okay, so I could pop pills. And I will pop pills, potentially. You just gotta realize that there's also a risk with that. Because A, it could be a telepill to delirium, which would be a disaster. 
and B, it could be a health up, which doesn't sound bad, but actually is really bad because it would turn off Empty Vessel. So I'm not really sure yet if I'm down to take pills. If so, I will definitely do it after clearing all the boss rooms. But right now I'm leaning towards no. Vessel would be empty, but I have Charm of the Vampire. So it would heal me eventually. It lives. Okay. That's actually nice because it lives, doesn't deal contact damage, so I can hug that guy even when Empty Vessel isn't doing its thing. so bad okay well that's damage okay every time for I before I enter a boss room I make absolutely 100% sure that it's actually not delirium but I'm pretty sure my read is correct but I'm, I'm double checking before every boss I enter come on just give me copy peas I know you want to Too big of a deal. That should count, right? Because I got rerolled. Okay, I'm a cat. 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 Cat is insane because of two reasons. First of all, it doubles our damage output. Second of all, it makes the nail charge much faster. Oh, nice. Nice chin of rock. Okay, let me make sure. One, two, one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, it can't go up here, and it can't go down there either, so this can't be delirium. That's the only one you can't actually raid at first glance. for that, I don't think. Okay, huge, large. Large and in charge. All right. Oh, he can transform into the hollow, which means there's a chance that this inexplicable glitch happens where he loses 80% of his HP. And to be frank, I'm quite in favor of that. So if you want to do me a solid delirium, Did he just... Oh, that was fair. Oh. I noticed the lady was invincible, so I didn't get any contact damage in. Finally, another nail charge. Yeah, look at how fast the nail charges when we do our contact damage. 
This might actually be unlosable with Polaroid Shield. Dude, look how fast this thing charges. I can just hug him to death. Oh my god. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. My shield ran out. <laughs> oh. Plus, he becomes a bit unhuggable when he starts moving so fast. Yeah, who's chasing who now, sucker? There we go. 